Good morning, everybody. This is James 3, verse 14. But if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and lie against the truth. This wisdom does not descend from above, but is earthly, sensual, demonic. For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. Also, Job 5, verse 2. For wrath kills a foolish man, and envy slays a simple one. The Bible tells us that envy slays a simple person. The famous evangelist Billy Graham called envy the murderer of souls. But who does envy slay? Who does it kill? It kills the person who is being envious. There is a story from ancient Greece about a certain city that erected a statue in honor of an athlete. His rival, who was also an excellent athlete, vowed that he would destroy the statue. Every night he went out into the darkness and chiseled away at its base in an effort to undermine its foundation and make it fall. In the end, it did fall. It fell on him and killed him. Such is envy. In one of his books, the author C.S. Lewis imagines an inexperienced demon who is trying to tempt a Christian leader to sin. He tempts him with all the sins of the flesh and with everything else he can think of, but to no avail. The man stands firm and resists all the temptation. The demon asks his mentor, a more experienced demon, for help. His experienced friend says, just watch this. Then he whispers into the man's ear, your brother has just been made Bishop of Alexandria. Immediately the man's fellowship with God is disturbed as he wonders why his brother and not he has been given such an honor. Bitter envy has entered his soul. The fact that James, writing to Christians, puts this warning about envy in his letter shows us we have to be on our guard. Envy has the peculiar power to disturb anyone, whether temporarily or long term. Ultimately, it has the power to kill and to destroy the person. Praise God, there's a way out. The answer is to walk humbly with God, realizing we are nothing and deserve nothing, and to be thankful for all he does for us and for all the great and wonderful things he does for and with and through others. By his grace and his power in us, we can put all envy to death and live wonderfully free from it, enjoying sweet fellowship with the Lord. Amen. Have a great day.